Hey guys, Extreme Media here and today I'm back with another video. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how you can install Gaps or Google Apps on your Android smartphone. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, this is my Android smartphone and it is running a custom ROM which has bought a variety of new features on my Android smartphone. Like you can see that it has a new icon pack, it has a new kind of notification bar and it also has a gesture panel so you can make shortcuts to your favorite apps. So if you don't know how to install custom ROM on your Android smartphone, you can go and check out my previous video. The link will be in the description. And yes, the custom room which I'm using is Star OS. I don't know this custom room will be available for your phone or not, but you can surely go and check googling it. So guys, let us move to the installation part. First of all, the things that you will need is an Android smartphone with custom room installed on it. Secondly, you will need an app known as Open Gaps. Now this app is freely available on the Play Store and I have also mentioned the link in the description. You can go and download it from there. Okay, after you download the app and install it on your Android smartphone, next thing you need to do is open the app like you can see that I have opened. Click on the arrow down here and now the app will ask for its terms of uses. You need to accept those terms of uses and click on the arrow and now you will see that it is asking for some permissions that is root permission. Click on grant permission, click on the arrow again and now here comes the important step. Now the app is asking for your CPU architecture. Most of the people gets confused what kind of CPU architecture their phone has and don't know and that's why they end up using a wrong CPU architecture and which makes their phone stuck up in the boot loop or something else. So the reason to use this app is that only because this app automatically detects which kind of CPU architecture your phone has and that's why you don't have to worry. Now in my phone it is shown to be I have an ARM architecture as it shows on the right it says detected so I don't need to worry click on the arrow again and now you have to select the version of Android OS you are having like I am having lollipop in my phone that is 5.0.1 and after selecting your Android version you can click on the arrow down below the next thing the app asks for is the package variant okay so now you have to choose from seven options like you can select stock full mini micro whatever you want to use and let me tell you the larger you will choose the more apps it will have like you can see that the stock is the largest one and it has all the apps that came pre-installed on your phone the pico is the smallest one and has least apps including play store and yes, if you are interested in knowing the meaning of all these options, you can go and check out the description. I have a brief description of all these options in the description down below. Okay, so for the purpose of the video, I will be using the micro one. And after selecting them, click on the done button and that's the last step. After clicking that, the download will begin. Make sure you have a nice internet connection because the size may vary depending on your option. Okay. So the download will begin and after the download finishes, the installation process will begin automatically and it will take about 15 to 20 minutes and that's all you need. After 15 to 20 minutes, the installation will finish and the Google apps will be installed on your phone. So guys, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and if you want more quality content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.